Yo, what is good? I'm going to try showing you how to make a skin on Kirka.io. Thanks to Bowden Height. Uh, this is an amazing process. I'm going to show the Mac 10 template uh, over there, wherever my finger is, right? Um, <laughs> it's going to be me drawing on a template that I am going to put into Blender. Uh, you can draw on these templates that are provided to you by the Kirka Asset Discord, which I'm gonna put in the description. Um, and then I'm going to show you how to move this image into Blender and actually make a skin. It's gonna be super cool. I hope uh, this is easily followed along, um, but yeah, let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so this has taken quite a few takes for me to be able to actually do this and make it easy to understand, but we're gonna be projecting a image and blender onto the 3D model, as Bowden said. Uh, make sure you convert all your templates into a square resolution, like 2000 by 2000. That'll make it so much easier. Um, the whole process. So let's go ahead and jump in. So you need to get Blender. You can find Blender by Googling it on uh yeah, Google, right? Or uh, <laughs> looking it up on YouTube. Um, once you have it installed, you're going to be met with something like this. So you want to take these in the top right camera. Um, let's go ahead and delete that. Cube, go ahead and delete that. And light, go ahead and delete that. Um, while we're doing this, let's go ahead and move our webcam. I'm going to move it just a little bit over there so you can see all of these goodies down there. All right, so let's go ahead and go to file. You want to go to import and you want to go to GLB or GLTF. You want to find your uh, model that you want to import. So we're going to do it on the SCAR. I know we were doing the Mac 10 in the introduction video. I was unable to actually get it to work. I don't know why, but let's go ahead and import that. So once we have that imported, we can zoom in with the scroll wheel on the middle mouse button, and you can actually use it and drag it along like that for your controls and hold Alt to snap it into place uh, with your uh, scroll wheel. So you hold Alt and then you drag it with your scroll wheel uh, to get it snapped in place, which is something you really need to know. So next off, you want to go to data. You want to go to UV maps and you see UV map there. You want to go ahead and press the plus button. Once you press that plus button, you can rename this to whatever you want, or you can leave it at UV map 001. So we're going to put it as preview and we're going to go ahead and toggle that camera. So you want to make sure you toggle that camera. It's really important. So next up, you want to go to UV editing. So once you go to UV editing, um, you want to do that snap again. So if you're all hold down the alt button and then drag your scroll wheel uh, to snap it into place, you want it to be a flat image like that. That's very important. So now you want to press U on your keyboard. Once you press that, it'll pop up a little menu like this. You want to project from view. That's going to give you your image on the left side. And that's where you're going to put your draw that you drew on into blender so i'm going to go ahead and drag and drop this one it's going to zoom in immediately don't be alarmed your image is there scroll back out you're going to have your image right there so you what you want to do now is press a so a is going to select all of this you want to press g to move it you want to place it right there and then you want to press s to scale it you want it to be as close to in the boundaries as possible this is going to make sure your image is scaled properly so when you project it onto the skin it looks perfect and normal so that's going to be the best that i'll be able to do i already have this skin in the game um, it's already done um, and it's been submitted. It's not in the game, but it's uh, through all the processes that I needed it to be done. So now we have it right here. This is everything you need to do. You want to go to texture paint, which is right next to UV editing. Go there. You want to scroll up here a little bit. Um, like I said, you can hold alt and drag it and boom. There we go. So next you want to go to texture sh slots right above. You can see where my mouse is. Um, go ahead and go there. You want to go to single image. You want to press new. So right here, you want to put 2000 by 2000. Once you have that there, you want to press OK. So now you're going to have a black screen. Well, that's not what I want. So you want to go to preview and you want to switch to UV map. There we go. So now we have that done. Next, you want to hit the clone button here. 
click that clone, you're going to go to cl uh, clone from paint slot. So we're going to go ahead and click that. You're going to make sure the source clone image is your scar template or whatever you had it as, right? So once you have that done, you are done in that menu. So you can start drawing on it. And I believe I messed up. <laughs> so let's go ahead and go back over here. So um, let me see. Okay, so perhaps it's, nope, it's not that. So preview UV map. What did I skip? I skipped a step. Always happens. Oh, here we go. So you want to click this and then it'll put it on preview. And now it's working. There we go. Simple mistake. Uh, the more you do this, you're going to run into mistakes and errors. But now you want to start painting your skin. So what's happening here, you can see over here. So it's covering all that black. You want to do this. And now you don't have to worry about anything. So use your middle mouse button and drag along until you get every spot painted there should be no longer any black on the template over there to your left once you have that all done you are golden we're not going to try being perfectionist here this is just a demonstration so you know so we're just going to get that much i do want to be a perfectionist i'm not going to lie because i love this this is so cool uh and i'm so happy that i can show you guys with permission from uh bowden who made the original tutorial that showed me how to make skins i hope more people are able to make skins now that they know how hopefully this is understandable his tutorial was way better mine's probably going to be 10 minutes long but now that you're done here you want to go to image and it's going to be on this side so it's going to be image and then you want to save as uh you can save it as whatever you want or put the name down so this is gonna be i don't know what it's gonna be it's gonna be called red lines orange skin right so we're gonna save as image and now we are done with blender we have the image this is the image we wanted in the left side and we have it all reflected here so now you've just made a skin um, but we're not done yet, so uh, I will jump into GIMP and show you the rest on there. All right, so the next step of uh, making a skin is you want to download GIMP. You can find it on Google. Uh, once you have it downloaded, you want to go ahead and go to open right over there. And then you want to look for your skin. So we want red lines, orange skin. So we're going to open that up. So that's going to be the skin that we want to modify. So next, you want to go to layer. And then you're going to want to scale layer. You want to change this to 4096 and then press tab. It's going to automatically make it square 4096 by 4096. So that's going to be super easy. So press scale now. So that's going to scale. Now you want to go to image and you want to click uh, ch -ch -ch, fit canvas to layer. So that's going to actually make it a lot easier. Boom. So now once you have this done this is how you're going to add the shading or the shadows to your um skin you're going to go to the ao that you downloaded and i'm going to show you it over here and it's going to be ambient conclusion so it's going to be in a zip file you're going to want to extract that once you extract it you're going to have all the files over here so you want to go to scar click scar and then you want to drag and drop it into that so you're going to want this up here and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to do the same thing. You're going to go to layer, you're going to skill layer, and then you're going to do 4096. There we go. Press tab and then skill. And now you want to put it just below your other skin. And then what you're going to do is multiply. And then as you can see, all of the shadows are added to the skin which is super cool. And now you are done. So after that, you want to save as, and you want to put it as, or sorry, right? Save as, no, no, no. You want to export, export as, and you want to make sure that this is a .png file. And then press export. Um, oh, I guess we should name it something different. You always want to keep your original file. Just in case you mess something up, you can go back and fix it. So export. There we go, export. And now it's going to render it, I guess, or something like that is what it's doing, or exporting, but yeah. Let it export, and once it's done exporting, you have your skin, your finalized skin.
So really cool. It's actually really easy, uh, but you have to make sure you have your shadows on it. Some skins you don't have to have shadows on just because that's how you built the skin. And it might look uh, a little bit weird with the shadows. Um, but once you have that, that is done. But with added time, let's go ahead and see if I can show you how to put this into the skin now. So right now, the only way I know how to do it is through Juice Client. So we are going to pop that open. We're gonna bring it over here and then you press delete. You go to um, client. You're gonna go to open swapper. You're gonna go to IMG and then we're looking for this texture. These are all the texture codes that you're gonna need to be able to display your skin in game. You're gonna press rename. We're gonna copy that. And then we're gonna go ahead and go to our file that we just made, right? So we're gonna open this up. We're gonna go to documents. We're going to find it. Where is it? It should be up here. Red lines, orange skin. We're going to go ahead and copy that, uh, put it into here. What we're going to do is we're going to rename, copy that again because I messed up, right? So delete. Now go here, rename, and we want this to be a dot .webp file. So webp and boom. Yes. So now that should show in game. Let's go ahead and try it out. So let's press delete to get rid of that menu. Go over here. Oh wait, we have to press F5. We gotta refresh afterwards. And as you can see, it's in the game. So that's actually so cool. This is the first time I've done it like on the spot like that, but there we go. Our skin is in the game so that we can take screenshots and submit it into the Discord so that it can get officially into the game upon approval. But yeah, super cool. I hope this guide helps. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed, definitely hit that like button and leave a comment down below and tell me uh, how I did. All right, see you later. Bye.